Hi guys, it's Wave McMaster here. In today's video, I want to show you how you can plan out your content, whether it be for a blog, YouTube channel, or social media, using a tool called Trello. Now, Trello is a is a business that actually does offer a premium option, but I'm actually just using the free account for what I use. Now, this is actually my Trello account here. You'll see there's a lot of things blurred out because there's a few things I uh, obviously. I'm actually teamed up with some people on their boards, so some of it's confidential, some of it's personal, but um, I'm just going to basically go through and show you how you can use this tool to plan out your content and also kind of manage everything you have going on in what it is you're doing. Even if it's your business, um, it can really be used for just about anything. And matter, as a matter of fact, I have used it with other businesses in the past. Um, very effectively and uh, even outsourcing and that sort of thing where I've been able to work with people and we've been able to track jobs we've been working on together quite easily simply by logging in and checking out our Trello board. So once again, you can see here, these are some of the boards I have. A lot of them are blurred out, like I said, uh, just for privacy reasons. But um, you can see here, we've got a team area and we've got all these different little uh, bits and pieces. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new board so I can show you exactly how it works. So I'm going to click down here under personal boards and click create new board. And of course, up here, I'm going to give the board a title. So I might call it, uh, pretend like we're creating for a blog. So, okay, I'll call this one blog board for video. So, you know, it's for the purpose of this video. Um, and because it's a free account, I only have up to 10 free boards for this team. I'm going to put no team. And I can actually, I'm going to create board here. Okay, we started. So as you see, it's come up with this background. Now, before I get into the nitty gritty of how it works, you can change your, the appearance of this. So I find this useful for being able to look at a glance and see which boards I wanna use because certain boards have certain backgrounds. I don't have to read the title of every board when I'm on my board page. So I'm gonna click here at change background. I can choose a color, purple, blue, or I can go back and under photos, I can choose something else. So maybe I'll uh, choose something a little bit that's not going to really conflict. So maybe something like this. We've got this cool sort of background we can work with. So you can go through, you can search for photos. Uh, if you want to, you can get really detailed photos, like, you know, pictures of robots. Uh, these are all from Unsplash, the website Unsplash. So anything you find there, you can basically find here and uh, use as your background. So I'm just going to close that. So this is basically the idea. This is how it works. So let's say we've got several steps and this is just the way I use it. But let's say we've got here, I've got a urgent to-do list. Just something I can pop there if I need to. Uh, so that way any items or things you want to work on in the future, maybe you put it there or maybe you could say, you know, uh, future general to-do because we can actually make jobs urgent in a much more effective way. So future general to-do list. So because we're running a blog and this is what we're looking at here, and this is the same thing for YouTube, if you go this way, we can go say blog post ideas, and maybe we can put down which ones do I want to write next. So I'll say posts to write, and then I can step it out. So maybe I'll just say, okay, posts to publish, uh, posts to, so I'll just shorten it to promote and that sort of thing. So this is a very basic layout. And the good news is you can go and add things in between. So let's say, okay, okay, before I want to publish this post, I want to proofread and pop that here between post to write and post to publish. If I want to add a video, maybe I want to say uh, produce YouTube video. And if you're doing a YouTube channel, you'd probably break things up much like I have across here. I'm just going to zoom in a bit to make this easier to see. But for the sake of this, I'm going to produce YouTube video and we can pop it under posts to publish. So this is basically a board we have. You can have as many steps as you want. You can have boards for, you can even have a separate board for videos if you want to go through one and graduate and move a ticket to a video or something like that. But we've got a nice little column sec section here. So to do, blog post ideas, blog post to write, proofread, produce video. So let's say first thing we're going to do is I've got to actually redesign a page on the site that has nothing to do with the blog post. So I can actually just create a little card by clicking add card here. So I'll go redesign website. Now you can see I've got that card here. I'm going to click on that and maybe I want to add some notes. So maybe I want to say, okay, uh, improve 
branding. Use more white. You can have some notes here. You can write some comments and go from there. So I've got a little card there. Just a reminder. When I and I when I'm done, I can click on it. I can archive it and delete it. Go from there. But what I'm really interested in going through with you today is the content side of things. So like I said, if it was a YouTube video, it might be video ideas, videos to record, videos to edit, videos to publish or schedule. Or if you're doing, say, an Instagram post, it might be like Instagram post ideas. Um, you might have, or you might even have columns, like maybe it's informational posts ideas or personal. Yeah, you can basically just do whatever you want with these and you, you're free to structure it how you want. So... What I'm going to do for this, I'm going to create a blog card, a blog, sorry, a card here for blog post ideas. So let's say I have ideas. I'm thinking, oh, it'd be cool to write a blog post. Let's say we're, uh, once again, let's use the old fashioned fitness website. How to lose weight. I think that's one for the future. I do want to do that, but I'm not really in a rush to do that one. Maybe I want to put down there uh, why I eat paleo. Spell it correctly. And I'll create three blog post ideas. And so I'll go say, what's another one we can say, you know, how to gain muscle. So we've got three blog post ideas. And let's say I want to write two of those blog posts right now. I could have as many down here as I want. I can add and add and I can have hundreds and just simply scroll up and down. And once again, if I want to edit, I can move these back and forth. Now, before I go any further, this is really good for idea taking because Trello have an app on their phone which basically shows the exact same thing you see here. Usually it's only the one column though, and you simply swipe across to see the others. And you can simply with your finger press and drag cards around. So if you're ever like out and about and you get an idea, you can whip open your phone, click the Trello app, go to your board and pop that idea down and even take notes. So let's say the first one I wanna write is how to gain muscle here. So I'm gonna put that here for posts to write. Uh, maybe I'll create another one here, you know, uh, 10 exercises to grow your biceps I hit um, caps lock there so 10 exercises to grow your biceps all right cool let's close that down and I'm gonna put this one here so these are the two posts that I want to write now another great thing about this is let's say we're gonna start with the 10 exercises I'm gonna go okay what have I got here I could think about this ahead of time and not actually get too stuck into it. I go, okay, okay we've got bar bell curls, easy bar curls, concentration curls, drinking a beer, exercise five, and we can go through and we can create the list here in the description. Now, what's really cool is if I'm working with a few people or even content writers, I can invite them here. I can add to card a member of a team. I can actually have it on a team. I can change a cover image. So I can actually go here to cover and upload an image, which I will do right now. Upload this cover image. And you'll see just in the background here, it's uploading, processing. And I have an image here. Now this acts as a timeline here. Everything, every time I do something to this job, there's a history of what's happened. Even if I delete certain things, there's a little line that says this card has been deleted or this file has been deleted. So you can see how handy it is because you can actually see a job and see the history of the job as you go. And you can upload files like PDFs or attachments that people can download um, from here. You do have a, a limit of 10 meg on the free account, but if you do get a premium account, you have a much larger limit. The other thing is you can also just link to a Dropbox file, which is very handy. Uh, OneDrive. So you can actually add attachments to this job card. And if you have a team on here, you can say, hey, is that PDF ready yet? Something. For some reason I still have cap lock, caps locks on. Hey, is that PDF ready yet? And I can tag people. I can actually tag people just like I would in social media. I'll say at and I'll type in a name. And you can actually do that. You can add in, you know, your emojis and your usual bits and pieces. You can even attach another card to this in reference. So I can save that. So you can see here, if you've got a team, you can communicate. If you want to take notes, you can add notes in the comments or up here in description. And you start to get this really nice long bit of info. So let's say I find out some information about barbell curls. So I can go, oh, I found this cool information here on barbell curls. 
best if done first with heavy weight or something that I'm not this is not real advice it's just an example you can start to add in bits and bits and pieces here or you can even just go up the top here and and uh, draw a little line so I do a couple of dashes type in you know, lift heavy or something like that when I save it if I could have the dashes underneath it turns out into a title so you got all these cool options for keeping information about your job. And this is basically called a card. And this can trail on and you can have a whole bunch of history, changes, that sort of thing. Great for if you're doing work with other people, working on tasks. Also great for content creation. But the good news is you can add in other things too, like labels. So let's say I want to say uh, a green label. Maybe I want to categorize this as, uh, you know, no rush, say it. Or I want to create another one under red and I say urgent publish soon. And then maybe I want to categorize it and just say uh, make video to go with post. So I can create these little labels and it's urgent, make a video go with the post. And I can create all these labels here. And that way, at a glance, if I close the card, you can see here at a first glance which thing, which by which color I've categorized these with labels. You can also do this with, uh, you know, because I've got urgent here, you can also add a due date. So maybe you want to add it a few days from now and save. And you see here, we've got this due date. So there's all these really cool options that allow you to see what's going on. Now, see it says here, September 19th. If I change that due date, whoops, just click here. If I change that due date to tomorrow. You can simply back and forth it. I can even make it today. And you'll see it says due soon. So we get this highlight here to show us that it is actually in fact due soon. So we get like a lot of options here. Uh, there are a few pro options. Uh, there are power ups, things that come with the pro that I, I don't really use myself personally, but lots of little bits and pieces, a checklist. So that way you can say, you know, um, this is something if you don't want to use the column system, you'd rather have types of content. You can say here, yeah, written. You can add a proofread, or you can even have here um, you can even put your items here. You can add all sorts. It's really up to you what you want to do with it. Um, you can even put down, you know, what we want. We want a YouTube video. You want a Pinterest pin. And you can tick these items off as you go. So you have all these bits and pieces you can see here we've got a little bar that shows which which items have been completed and it shows a progress so there's heaps of options here and we can even delete of course delete the checklist and you'll see when master has removed written from this card so you can see there exactly that the history of the job exactly there so it's pretty straightforward uh, you can copy card you can archive it watch it you can even like I said invite people to it so it's just a really cool, handy option. So once again, I've written this post, I can move it to proofread. I can go along, I go, okay, yep, maybe I want to publish it. And I can even click on here. Whoops, maybe I want to add another comment. I want to say published on Facebook. And what I can even do is, okay, what maybe what I want to do is add a checklist. Again, I'm going to say promote and put email list, Facebook, Twitter. And then I go, okay, I've sent it to my email list. I've sent it to Facebook, I've sent it to Twitter. I prefer to use the column system because as I go, I can simply go one, whoops. As I go, I can add them to each card and simply go across, moving the card from step to step. So that way you've got this nice left to right flow. If something goes wrong, you can move the card back, just click and drag. Uh, obviously the way it displays can be changed. You've got so many options here. You can copy a card, archive it, change members. It's just, it's a really solid way to track what you're doing with your content. With, like I said, blog, video, social media, it's all there. It's basically an information system that is all stored on the cloud too, by the way, this is in the browser. So it's not something you keep on your computer. Um, so it's just really, really handy.
Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. That is Trello for you. Uh, it is an excellent tool, very easy to use. Like I said, it's free. I do have a link below. It is an affiliate link, so if you do decide to click through, there are some perks for me, but I've been using this for years. I've been using the free version for years. Uh, I see no reason why you would necessarily need to go with the pro version, but uh, it's still worth checking out. So check that out with the link below. Otherwise, uh, I hope to see you next time. If you like the video, please consider liking or subscribing and have an awesome day. See you later.